All right, so this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the two scales that you're going to be using this semester in general chemistry lab. This scale right here, which looks a little more futuristic, is the analytical balance. And this scale reads to four decimal places, so it is the more accurate of our two balances. This scale is our top loading balance. And this scale reads to either one or two decimal places. It depends on the model of the scale that you have. I believe for our lab, though, most of them are going to read to two decimal places. So it's the uh, lesser accurate of the two scales. Majority of your uh, weighing will come on the top loading balance. Only a few times this semester, we use the analytical balance. And at this point, I'd like to kind of mention that these are very expensive pieces of equipment. You might not think it, but these analytical balances run about $2,500. So you should be very careful and respectful when you are using them. Uh, and these top loading balances cost about $400. So again, like we don't want to overload them uh, or break them because they are quite expensive to fix. All right, so when you're walking up to use either one of these balances, uh, I've got some just I'm going to be weighing out some sodium chloride, just some salt, but usually it's a good idea to wear gloves because you don't know what type of chemicals have been on these uh, devices or this instrumentation. Uh, and you never want to weigh directly onto the silver stages. So we've got our silver stage here, our silver stage here. You wouldn't take a spatula and just start weighing directly onto that. Absolutely not. You're going to weigh into something. For the majority of the time, we'll just have some used paper sheets. And the best way to turn a flat sheet of paper into something that's easy to carry around a small sample is to make some creases. So just fold it in half and fold it in half. And these actually creases make it also easier to pour into your Erlenmeyer or beaker or whatever it is you're going to be using. So I've just created a little tiny weighing boat for myself. And then you're going to want to make sure the instrument's on. So you can turn, hit the on button. Uh, if it's the analytical balance, you're going to want to make sure that all the doors are closed because if the wind or the AC is blowing on the stage, it can make this value unsettled. And then for the most part, you're always going to want to zero your uh, scale. So it's either uh, a word zero. So on our top loading balance, it says zero. So you can push zero and it's going to make all of the all of the digits zero. And sometimes the other word is tear, T-A-R-E, or this one just says tar, T-A-R, but that's going to give you all zeros. So you're going to want to zero out your balance before you use it. Then you can place your way boat onto it. And again, I'll close the door. So it's kind of reading that that weighs 0.49659, grams. Uh, but again, usually I want to tear my weigh boat as well, because I just want to maybe weigh out two grams of salt or 0.2 grams of salt. So I want that mass of my paper not to be included in that mass. So now to weigh out two grams, I can open the door, take my scoop and put it onto the paper. Again, we never directly weigh onto the stage. We're always going to weigh onto something on the stage. That was a lot. That was 0.9. If I wanted 0.2, oh, I need barely any. So take some of that back. Now I'm looking at 0.6 again, right? So you would just keep doing this until you get your 0.2 grams. One thing to note, so again, if you're using analytical balance, it has four decimal places and you should always record every single number you see on a balance. Don't just say, uh, you know, this way 0.2 and that's it. No, 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 no. This way has four decimal places and you need to, you know, make that accuracy known on your lab notebook. So never truncate your values, always write down every decimal place you see. The same thing would go for the top loading balance. Again, uh, make sure it's on, zero it. I can create my way paper by just folding it in half a couple times. And then I've got a nice little way paper. Place that on top of the stage and I'll zero it again. And then I can just weigh out my 0.2 grams. That's 0 0.22 grams on this scale. So that would be good. Then when you're ready to take your sample out, it also helps to kind of fold it so that all of the compound is kind of within the creases. It helps you carry it from the scale to wherever you're going. 
let's say I was going to pour this into this beaker right here. And again, those creases really help you pour the sample in to the beaker. All right, so that is the differences between the analytical balance that you'll be using and our top loading balance that you'll be using this semester.